Do we have any non-Muslims on any of the mics of the sisters? Okay, we have one in the right-hand side. Go ahead, sister. Salam alaikum ji. I am a Hindu, Amuta Ramesh. Uh, I am a diploma engineering. Uh, sorry to asking this question. Hindu believes their religion. Muslim believes their religion. But when both are meeting, Hindu will not trying to convert in Hindu. But the Muslims, why do they are trying to convert in Muslims? Sister, if I understood your question correctly, when Hindus meet Muslims, they don't try and convert the Muslims to Hinduism, correct? Yeah. But when the Muslims meet the Hindus, they try and convert the Hindus to Muslims, correct? Correct. Sister, it is like giving an example. There is a student who goes to school. Maybe he's in the 7th standard or 8th standard. There's another student who goes to postgraduate college postgraduate college maybe he's doing his masters now when they meet will the school student try and teach the postgraduate or the postgraduate will teach the school student <laughs> sister yes. will, will the school going student teach the postgraduate student or the postgraduate student will teach the school going student Sister, I asked you a simple question, not a difficult question. Sister, have you understood my question? Yeah, yeah. So will a student going to school, will teach a student going to a senior college, postgraduate college? Or no. will a student going to postgraduate college, will teach a student going to the school? Postgraduated only. Correct. So in comparison, when the Muslims, what we believe, we are postgraduates. So when we meet our younger brother who went to school, it's our duty to share knowledge. We don't want to be selfish. I don't want to be selfish. You know, those who are selfish, yeah, the person should not be a graduate. You know, let him suffer. Let him be in school only. If he comes to college, postgraduate, he may take my job away. Those are selfish people. We, mashallah, we are selfless. It's our duty to spread the message of truth. So when we meet a non-Muslim, whether Hindu, whether Christian, whether Buddhist, we tell Ta'ala wila kalmitum sawaim baina bainakum. Come to common terms and we try and educate them. We don't want to degrade them. We try and educate them so that they can become a postgraduate. And both of us will get a good job. The good job is going to Jannah. So we don't alone want to go to Jannah. We want to take our brothers and sisters to Jannah. Sister, do you want to go to Jannah? Do you want to go to paradise? Jannah. Do you want to go to paradise? No. Do you want to go to paradise, yes or no? I want to go to heaven only. Heaven, yes. He another name for heaven is paradise. There are some rules and regulations to go to heaven. As I mentioned in my earlier answer, according to the Hindu scriptures, according to the Quran, according to the Bible, if you want to go to heaven, you have to believe there is one God. You have to believe he has got no images, he has got no photograph, he has got no idols. Sister, do you believe in one God? Yeah, I believe Hindu only. You believe in Hindu God? Do you believe that God has got idols? No, God is not idol. So do you believe in idol worship? Idol worship, I am believing also. You are believing in idol worship? Yes. So if God doesn't have idol, why are you worshipping the idol? Aren't you going against your Hindu scriptures? Your Hindu scripture says in Sveta Svetara Upanishad chapter 4 verse number 19 and Yajurubha chapter 32 verse number 3 Na tasrapati me asti Of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no statue, there is no sculpture, there is no idol. So do you want to follow your Hindu scriptures or you don't want to follow your Hindu scriptures? No, I want to follow my culture only, Hindu only. Culture, not your religion. 
my religion is hindu only i want to follow but your hindu religion is based on vedas have you read the veda sister no is it your duty you have to read the vedas when will you read it tomorrow or tonight <laughs> i don't know i will try i request you sister read the vedas tonight no Tom but no but why you can read it night you can read at night sister no problem veda and quran you can read day you can read night no problem my request to you sister go home go on the internet type the references i gave yajurve chapter 3 to verse number 3 sweta sweta upanishad -sweta chapter 4 verse number 19 you know in kishan ganj i gave a talk in kishan ganj just two weeks back and it was a three day program first day it was a talk second day open question and session only third day was talk and question on second day and the deadline in india is 10 o'clock on supreme court but when 10 o'clock was over one intellectual hindu came and told you know dr zakir what are you trying to do you're talking about communal harmony what are you trying to convert and blah 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 i believe in i only believe in bhagavad gita i don't believe in veda i wanted to answer him but the time was up so i told him when you come tomorrow inshallah i will give you the first chance the next day when i gave him the first chance to ask the question he said full night i did research i phoned the scholars of hinduism the pandits and i was shocked that they said that whatever you told 100% was correct in hinduism there is one god hindu scriptures speak about prophet muhammad peace be upon him he said i could not sleep the full night so he made my job easier so i am requesting you sister that tonight you go home if you don't have any pandit to ask you can google you know shake google we say shake google a pandit google go there type all the references try and find out and tomorrow you can come and ask the question again sister inshallah thank you